I would like, thank you. I would like now to introduce Vancy Pamela. We can see your, sc your screen and, and video. Very good. Good afternoon and thank you for uh, both uh, to PAS and to CHOP for hosting this webinar. I'll be presenting the work done by our group and in collaboration with Duke and UAB on detection of uh, congenital cytomegalovirus from neonatal saliva in minutes using a disposable cartridge in a near patient platform. Funding was from NIH, all babies authors have stock options and the instrument that I show here uh, called Finder is CE mark for G6PD and it is not FDA cleared at this point. CMV is the most common congenital infection in newborns affecting one in 150 newborns, which is about uh, 100 times higher in incidence than PKU, phenylketonuria, which is screened for in all the 50 states for more than uh, 50 years. Congenital CMV is one of the leading causes of hearing loss and in intellectual disability. An estimated 30,000 newborns with congenital CMV are born each year in the US and have no clinically detectable symptoms at birth. Hearing screening is performed on all newborns in the US without early detection and intervention, 10 to 15% of asymptomatic infants develop CMV related hearing loss each year. To put this in perspective, every year 300 newborns are diagnosed with PKU in the US through newborn screening, while more than 3000 develop hearing loss due to CMV. Early identification of infants with CMV through screening will facilitate interventions, including antiviral therapy to reduce the risk of hearing loss. Saliva and urine have been shown to yield highest sensitivity for CMV screening, which requires either setting up infrastructure for transport of these specimens to state public health labs, which normally receive dried blood spots, or adoption of point of care testing. Several states have enacted legislation to mandate CMV screening in infants that fail routine hearing screening. Better yet, CMV has been nominated for inclusion in the recommended uniform screening panel in the US to screen all newborns. Here in this presentation, we describe a nucleic acid testing platform for CCMV that provides results in minutes in a point of care setting using newborn saliva. The underlying technology is called digital microfluidics where we manipulate droplets of liquid by turning electrodes on and off. Several assay types, including molecular immunoassays and enzyme assays have been demonstrated on this platform. The video on to your right shows how these droplets are manipulated in a highly flexible manner. Uh, this cartridge demonstrates assays for G6PD, total bilirubin and albumin on, blood drop, on a blood drop loaded onto the cartridge with plasma prepared on the cartridge. This work was done in collaboration with Stanford and Duke, and, is, and this was presented at PAS uh, a couple of weeks ago. We have taken this a step further and added heaters onto the cartridge, heaters and uh, sensors onto the same cartridge that you have seen before. With this, what we could do is we can actually take a droplet, place it on here, turn up the heater and turn it down, doing both heating and cooling with the droplet in place for in-place PCR, or like the video shows here, we can shuttle the droplets between an extension and the denature zone and do PCR that way, called which we call a shuttling uh, thermal cycling. All the CMV primer probes uh, that, that were used in this work were from Dr. Bopana, and uh, custom sequences were used for internal control. We used archived newborn saliva samples, which were in transport media, the, which was thawed and directly loaded onto the cartridge for performing PCR with no sample concentration. For in-place PCR for CMV, it took, it took about 40 minutes. Spiked sample re replicates were run on multiple cartridges with 10 copy per microliter input. And the figure here shows the PCR amplification curves from these multiple cartridges. We also ran a method comparison study where we compared our results obtained on, on the finder instrument on these cartridges with this protocol and compared it with results obtained from a CLIA lab. As you can see, all the negatives were concordant. Three of the positives were not concordant. 
And we found that these three samples had the highest cycle threshold times of all the samples that were in this study from the CLIA lab. And as you can see, the limit of detection in CLIA lab test is 0.2 copies per microliter, whereas Finder had a limit of detection of five copies per microliter uh, for this particular protocol. So what we found was in-place PCR is not as rapid due to the thermal mass of the surrounding uh, cartridge materials and sample concentration can improve sensitivity significantly. As shown in this video, we have taken a, a large droplet, about 500 microliters or so, for example, can be loaded into a big reservoir and magnetic beads that collected the nucleic acids can be concentrated and pulled into a one microliter droplet thereby getting a theoretical 500 times concentration. And that droplet can be further manipulated by eluting the nucleic acids off of that and then doing PCR on that. So that can theoretically result in a detection limit of uh, 0.01 copies per microliter. Now going to the shuttling PCR uh, method where we keep the heat zones uh, at both denaturing temperature and, and the extension temperature, we shuttle the droplet between these zones. And we have shown that uh, in this case, PCR amplification was shown in all the six CMV positive newborn saliva samples, while two negative CMV negatives show flat curves as they should. PCR was completed within eight minutes for all these samples, and some CMV positive samples show up in less than even four minutes. Rapid PCR with integrated sample prep enables point of care testing for many other targets for use in NICUs and other settings. For example, recently we have taken most of this work and applied it and are continuing to apply it towards uh, SARS-CoV-2 where all the positives here, SARS-CoV-2 positive samples are amplified with shuttling PCR protocol with some of the positives coming up as, as soon as uh, within uh, PCR uh, coming up within three minutes. So the workflow is very similar for CMV, congenital CMV also. In this case, uh, we are collecting a nasal or nasopharyngeal swab, putting it into a neutralizing buffer, adding a binding buffer, and then use a disposable transfer pipe to load onto a, an to the finder. It's exactly the same for congenital CMV, except that we collect a saliva swab from, from newborns. So in conclusion, this study demonstrates performance of congenital CMV PCR assay in minutes on a disposable cartridge, which will enable point of care testing and reporting of results before the baby is discharged. Further testing is required to establish the performance and clinical utility of this device. Thank you. Thank you, Vamsi. So uh, where are you going next with this? Are you... Um... Is there any way to improve your sensitive, the sensitivity of your assay? Yes. You yeah. Yes. Yeah. We like like I showed here. Uh, we have uh, this method to concentrate the beads, collect uh, basically collect uh, the sample on the beads, and then concentrate the beads, and we get significant uh, improvement in in sensitivity doing that way. And that's that's what we are applying in the in the SARS-CoV-2 project right now and a uh, question from the audience uh dr pamela have you found sars-cov-2 rna in neonates in your testing everybody wants to know we haven't tested that yet we haven't gotten any neonatal samples yet i don't yeah okay any other question What is the cost of the to perform these this type of assay? Because it's incredibly convenient. It's very interesting and it, it, it's very promising for um, being able to uh, screen the babies in a more efficient way, like you said. But mm -hmm. what would, do you have any um, idea of of the cost of this technology? Yeah. So the, yeah this is. Uh... This is set up to be a point of care uh, uh, type of uh, uh, for point of care settings. So uh, it's definitely not in the hundreds of dollars and uh, the cost is, it's a very complicated uh, question to answer as simple as it sounds, because depending on the 
throughput and volume and stuff like that it it can be different but it will be in the tens of dollars that's the that's how it will be uh, set up and typically depending on the institute some institutes do a reagent rental some institutes buy the instrument so uh, it's a very it's a complicated answer for a simple question do you have any look at making this available in developing worlds? Yes, uh, we we uh, we do have uh, some of the finder is now CE marked uh, for G6PD, and uh, there are some countries that we have uh, uh, we are uh, there, there there are some countries where we have installed and uh, and doing some pilots right now outside the US, where CE is is accepted. Okay, thank you. Very interesting. Thank you.